Taking his research to a new level, LSUA's Associate Professor of Chemistry, Dr. Gerard Dumarcus, and his students are on a quest to find an easy-to-use method of determining the authenticity of honey in just one to two minutes. I would say that we haven't developed the prototype yet. We're, we're, in the, um, we're building actually a model um, or a method that perf- works perfectly for the pro- prototype. You know. Um, maybe a timeline, maybe um, a year or two more because the grant expires by a year from now. So we need to have an output involving that, you know, but we do really have a proof of concept already involving the prototype involving this. Recently, Dr. DeMarcus was awarded a $72,000 grant through LSUA Lift Grant Program. With the funds granted, he and his students will improve their equipment for research technologies that are close to commercialization. Dr. DeMarcus says the motivation behind it all is the expensive cost of honey detection on whether it's pure or not. He mentioned in some cases, honey is transported to different countries just so it can be analyzed and that takes time. So this makes the honey impure. And uh, what is now going on is that around the world, many honey companies, especially from Asia in some parts, they would actually mix their honey with this, you know, syrups to make it look like pure honey. So they could sell their product at a lesser price because of this. But it's a challenge because there's no efficient and cost-effective method that could actually determine this. Thanks to their FTIR machine, they can detect whether honey is pure. LSUA is the only undergraduate university in the state that provides opportunities and dollars for research, such as the Lift 2 program. Shar Thomas, ABC, 31 News, that works for you.